Okay, so I'm recording this like literally in the middle of the night, but I was talking with my gal pal, uh, Chip Chap, who is a pretty big Sonic fan. They make some cool animations. If you haven't ever seen their work, you should definitely check it out. But we were discussing the Knuckles trailer that released um, recently, and I was telling them how I was kind of disappointed in the, the sheer premise of the show and how I felt it very much was just like a rehash of the first Sonic movie, except this time it's like uh, Knuckles and Wade. Uh, and instead of fighting, you know, Robotnik, they're fighting what I will assume will be, you know, the Paramount Universe's version of Snively and how I think a premise that would have been more fun and would have better used just the fact that this is a spinoff uh, show is something involving Knuckles, Wade and the Chaotix going on like a mystery type adventure. Because, you know, the whole point, in my opinion, of doing like spinoff type stuff like this is to use elements of the franchise that fans really love but that you either don't have the time slash space for in the mainline series and also have no way of naturally incorporating them into it and in my opinion that's like where the chaotics reside you know they're these fan favorite characters that are really funny and you know are definitely like core sonic cast members who should be in the movie universe but there's no practical way to introduce them or even if you could, they would only like bloat the franchise because, you know, we're most likely already getting three new characters in Sonic 3 with Shadow, Rouge, and Amy. And so to add three more, which is like, it, it, it doesn't make sense from like a script writing perspective. They would just be eating up screen time, especially from characters who definitely deserve it more um, in this like little trilogy, like Tom and his wife, whose name I cannot remember. But in this spinoff show, seemingly the only two main characters are Wade and Knuckles and then I assume other Knuckles related characters who aren't owned by fucking, what's his name? Pet Sanders? It's not Pet Sanders. What's, fucking, what's this guy's name fucking name? Actually, you know what? I don't care. I'm not going to look it up. Um, but the Chaotix are actually Knuckles supporting cast characters since they originate in a Knuckles game. And so... You know, you fill out your cast, you know, um, and, you know, Wade is a ranger. So it's like them being detectives kind of kind of like meshes nicely together. And and, and this is all to say that, like, as we were having this discussion, uh, a genius idea occurred to me that, like, in my opinion, makes it so much more like a crime that they didn't have the show be like a Knuckles chaotic, like, wade mystery adventure type things because it's like okay so like you imagine the show it starts off we introduce chaotix and like they're detectives and somehow knuckles and wade like join them on this like like simple mystery type thing and as the show progresses because again this is also a show mind you this is six episodes and if it's like every other streaming service type thing those episodes are gonna be like an hour long or at least 30 minutes long right and so I thought, like, wouldn't it be funny if, like, because the tone of these Sonic movies is, like, kind of silly, like, it starts off as a simple, like, mundane mystery type deal, but, like, slowly unravels into, like, this massive conspiracy, and it's a gun-related conspiracy. <laughs> I just realized that, oh, it's so sad. But it's, like, you, you slowly realize that the show, like, it's, like, oh, shit, there's, like, it's it's actually tied to, to, to like, plot stuff, and the conspiracy in question that they unravel or discover is Gunn's cover-up of what happened on, like, the moon base and, like, Project Shadow. And so instead of being, like, this throwaway, you can, like, skip it, you know, spin-off material. It now actually becomes, like, a companion piece to Sonic 3. And so, you know, it's, like, it, 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 on a textual level, it's Sonic 3 and Knuckles. You know what I mean? Like, I, fuck, like, that's good, right? Like, come on. Come on. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys because I don't know. I just I think it's just a cool and like clever idea. And like, even though I had no expectations for this show, um, now I'm low key mad that that's not going to be the thing that happens. 